mystery surrounding the disappearance of a young stockbroker, a mother of two, Susan Cox Powell. After bizarre and outrageous claims by her father-in-law, he was having a torrid affair with her. We get our mitts on his private journals that reveal his twisted and sick sex obsession, a sex obsession with his own daughter-in-law, Susan Powell. These diaries, they're complete with undercover photos. And what I mean by that is this guy, let me just start off with saying he's been busted taking long shot photos of an eight and nine year old little girl in the bathroom across the way, like across the street, going to the bathroom. He takes pictures of these children, these little girls, as they're teething in their own bathroom. These graphic photos he takes of her, she didn't pose for them. He would slip mirrors under doors, take long uh, shot lens photos of her. But the big question tonight, forget about his creepy sex obsession with his own daughter-in-law. My question tonight is, did this perv mastermind Susan's disappearance and death and the murder of her two little boys and what I can only describe as a towering inferno in the home of their addled-brained father, Josh Powell? Her parents are torn in half at the loss of their two grandchildren, the loss of their daughter, who we all know we'll never see again. Now, Josh Powell's family, including the stepfather, still contends that she ran off with another man. That did not happen, okay? When you hear his diaries, you too may come to question whether he, in fact, was the mastermind behind her death and the deaths of her children. He is refusing to talk to police. He's not talking to anybody. Uh, his obsession goes to the point, uh, Clark Goldband, well, you know what, I'll let you explain it, Clark. I want to hear about how he would go into their dirty laundry and how he would buy her pantyhose. Yes, Nancy, this is in over 2,300 pages of these diaries. We've gone through every single page, and there are a few occasions, more than a few occasions, where Powell writes of going through Susan Powell's underwear drawer, taking pairs of underwear, and using it later to masturbate. He also talks about trying to find Susan Powell's hair and making a hair collection out of Susan Powell's hair that he also, it would appear, assists him in masturbation. The stockings you just brought up a few moments ago, Stephen Powell writes that he apparently purchases multiple copies of the same type of stockings, and that's because he gave a pair to Susan and kept a spare for himself. Then after Susan would wear the stockings, Steve Powell apparently would swap those stockings out, take those stockings back to his home, and use those stockings also to assist him in gratifying himself. Okay, let me get this straight. So, put band, gold band up there. So, the father-in-law who's sitting behind bars right now refusing to talk would go to the store, buy her hose, her pantyhose, go home, take her worn, her, her pantyhose she wore the day before that she hadn't washed yet, and take them home to masturbate with them and then replace them with the newly purchased hose and she never knew about it, right? That's what Steve Powell writes in these diaries.